Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter Z. Master Profits today, checking out some more hazy IPA that I actually bought secondary. The prices was okay for how much it usually would cost you to try and get beer over yourself. I've done that. It might seem crazy high, but that's what beer end up costing with shipping and wanting to ship beer fast and whatnot. So I paid 120 or so for this, uh, which is about twenty dollars a can it's it seems insane like that's the price of the food pack and it's insane but when you get beer from the states and need to get it shipped to europe if you try to do it yourself you will end at that price and you usually need to get quite a lot of cans to make the price that price you group up a lot of cans you try to flip the cans you get and then you have the ones for yourself that's usually how people do it when they try to get them over and uh, there's a lot of labor and time included in figuring that out and finding someone who can help you out um so i think the price is okay because this is usually also what it will cost in stores it will be a little bit cheaper maybe i think there are some monkish cans that varied from like 100 to 140 or something like that and uh, maybe 120 is the average price actually Thinking back, I think that was what I paid for a uh, foggier window when I compared that to uh, the Omniplayer version. So that's just like, it sounds insane. Like Americans are so lucky with beer prices. Like when shit gets over here to, to the EU, everything's just going up. And EU, especially like Danish, Danish beer prices are really high. And uh, yeah, so is everything here. It's just an expensive country. But I'm really excited about this one because this one is featuring a new hop variety from Yakima Chief slash Inset Hops called Superdelic. And I've smelled Superdelic, but I've not tried Superdelic in a beer. I think maybe one beer there at uh, the Yakima Chief stand at Valpiviale. But uh, so much happened there. But now we're going to try it in a double dry hop iteration from Monkish. I mean, this should be the best showcase of this hop, ideally. So this is Monkish Super. This is just shy of four weeks. Uh, what does it say? Duper, of course, <laughs> on the bottom of the can. So 8.8% double dry hub, double IPA, featuring Superdelic alongside a touch of Galaxy and Citra. And so Superdelic apparently started being trialed in 2012 by Dr. Ron, which you might know if you know uh, about New Zealand hops. And uh, because it performed well, they did trials in 2017, and now they've started to do, you know, full releases of it. It's got a name. It used to be called Inset H102. It's supposed to have flavor, flavors of red fruit, similar to Strata, but also candy-like flavors and tropical fruit. Very generic here, but we've got some breweries saying, uh, Sawmill Brewery, Mike Sutherland said it tastes like sweet berry, citrus, and ripe, ripe mango in his hazy IPAs. So yeah, but let's see what I think. I'm always interested in trying these inset varieties because they have some brightness and sing that I really love. So let's check this one out. So Poor's, what I expected from a monkish beer, very saturated, saturated, bright and hazy yellow. This looks intensely hoppy. Uh, slight bit of white head when it poured out. Let's check out the aroma. Wow, <laughs> really saturated. <laughs> Like, holy crap, how much hops are in this? Eight pounds per barrel? I don't know. What is that? Eight pounds? It's over 30 grams per liter. Yeah, I think so, yeah. No, it won't be. It's less than that. Because five pounds per barrel is like 20. 5.2 is like 20 grams per liter. So, yeah, 30 might be right. That is so saturated on hop nuances. I'm definitely getting a candy profile. But I'm also getting loads of brightness. I need to smell this more. And this is the perfect temperature. So there's something in here that is like, I've talked about this often with Inset Hops. Monstera Deliciosa. Very cool. Uh, the fruit Monstera Deliciosa. Just Deliciosa coming from the Monstera plant that usually doesn't have fruit. But there's one variety that has fruit called Monstera Deliciosa. And this is this super tropical fruit. It's like it's got a consistency of banana. And it tastes like pineapple passion fruit, like just a cross of all the bright tropical fruits. And it burns almost a little bit if it's a slightly underripe fruit. And it can be hazardous if it's too underripe. And it has like scales, like uh, kind of like a snake or something like that, or whatever. It just looks super weird, but it tastes insane. I tried it years ago in Madeira, of all places. I'm getting loads of that. But there's also candy 
uh, note to it. There's a little bit of a peach ring candy. There's a little bit of like um, starburst candy, tropical starburst candy. Without it being too much. And then there's lime. I'm also getting a touch of a sweet honeydew melon thing. I don't know if that's from the galaxy or just yeast. Often it's yeast as well. But there's so much, much bright tropical fruit to this. Like all the exotic fruits, like like snappiness of pineapple and like almost like a little bit of that green fruitiness of like kiwis or like something. It seems weird, but like, because they're mild fruits, but there's something about it. But just like this huge plethora of really, really bright fruity notes. And not too dank. It's like just really, really fruity. It smells really good. Let's try it. Cheers. This is heavily, 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 heavily hopped. And it has definitely got a Southern Hemisphere twang. Higher carbonation than I expected. And we got some bitterness, which is nice. That's the thing. Like, not all monkish beers have that bitterness, but this one definitely has. But it also just could be saturation. I need to go in for another sip. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Like, it has a lot of Southern Hemisphere brightness. A lot of like, like diesel-y nuances to me, kind of like Nelson, paired with this ultra bright fruitiness. And I totally see, maybe to me, it's more like that candy thing. I could think of like red starburst. Like I think is that cherry or something? Red fruit candy. I can see that. There's like also a bit of orange candy. Like definitely to me, it's like really starburst heavy. And uh, more so than like, Peach ring, like the, if you can, if you've ever tried the sour starbursts, it's a bit like that because it's like tangy and tart uh, as well. For sure, Monstera Deliciosa. But what's interesting, like this is so fruity. There's not a lot of herbal notes to this, like green and like chlorophyll, tomato lining things, as Joe talks about. But like often, you also get like. There is a little bit on the end with bitterness, like a little bit of an herbaceous touch, but it's super light. It's like much, much, much more fruity than other beers with this amount of hops. Like, cause often when you use this amount of hops, hops, you will get some of that kind of biting planty flavor almost no matter what. All, even though like this is 100% crop selected hops as well. Um, although maybe, I'm not sure if you can crop select Galaxy, but um, wow, what a cool hop. I almost got a hit of banana there. But there's so much of that bright tropical singy edge to it. And also like, I'm also getting a lot of lime. This is really fucking cool. Ne underripe nectarine, almost like a little bit snappy. There's so much going on. That's a fucking cool hop. <laughs> That's a really cool hop. It's, um, it's quite unique, which is something you get on, on almost every single New Zealand hop variety. I'm, I'm not sure if it will be able to stand on its own. I mean, this is with other hops. And most of the time, there's not a lot of hops that can stand on their own. Most hops need blending and depend also on what style you make with the hops. But Super Delic is really good for Haze. I want to see people use it in Westies as well. I, I think we will be getting at Bad Seed the chance to use some very soon. I think we have something contracted for either this harvest or the next year or so. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I think between Super Delic and Peacherine, those are probably some of the coolest new hops I've had from New Zealand. Um, I think they're really, really, really dope. And they've got some very interesting flavors. I think this is definitely different than Peacherine. Peacherine is more sweet, stone fruity, tangerine. It has some of that candy note and also that Southern Hemisphere twang, but it's like a little, little bit more heavy on stone fruit and citrus. Whereas this definitely got more tropical like vibes. And again, Skittles, uh, not Skittles, Starburst candy, tropical sour Starburst candies. Like this is really fucking great haze. It's uh yeah, and Diesley too, which I like. This is a little bit that like slide Diesley dankage, but it's mostly fruity. This is fucking great. It is a world-class beer, but I'm also like pondering just giving it a 94 because it also like, although the hop flavor is cool, it also tastes like something you've tried a million times because it's a hazy IPA with a lot of hops. Like if there was a West Coast IPA with these hops, I'd probably pick that over this. That's just how it is these days. Um, 
but it is fucking, 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 fucking great. I should just say fuck it and give it a 95, I think. I mean, I think to most people, this will be world-class hazy IPA for sure. So, and I think it is. I'm, I'm just like, hey, should I give it a 94? But like, it fucking tastes dope. And it's one of the most unique hazies I've had in a long time, which is nice. So yeah, let's go with it. Let's say 95. This is world-class. This is fucking awesome. So if you guys had a chance to try it, super duper to super from monkish let me know your thought of it thanks a ton for watching and as always remember to comment subscribe to the facebook fan page and twitter and instagram give the video a thumbs up if you're it and remember the bell for future notifications about videos and i'm gonna say cheers and my first super delic beer and uh, see you guys in another beer video